guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you've never been here before um today's video is an embarrassing story video and it's all about my embarrassing stories now i feel like i don't have that many but i feel like they're like pretty embarrassing but maybe not if they're not that embarrassing and you have more embarrassing stories please leave them in the comment section below and if you'd like please subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it and well i hope you enjoy my video sometimes when i trim my eyebrows i don't want to use tweezers so this one time i used a razor and ended up shaving off half my eyebrow when i was in sixth grade we were playing a water balloon game where you threw the balloon and you would catch it and if it would break you'd get all wet well i was on the last day of my period and i felt something start to slide down my leg looked down heard it fall on the ground it was not a water balloon but was the pad i had been wearing this one time i went to this coffee place named pete and i got a green tea matcha frio with raspberry squirts no whipped cream and soy milk i was pretending to be lactose intolerant <laughs> and I'm waiting and the lady says green tea matcha frio I look around no one goes up to get it and they didn't ask my name so I was like mm -hmm. must be mine go up there grab it take it back to my seat start doing my homework I've drank about half of it before I hear green tea, matcha frio, raspberry squirt, soy milk, uh, no whipped cream. Oh, that's so awkward. No whipped cream. And this guy walks up and, oh my God, people are walking by right now. So then I hear green tea, frio, matcha, raspberry squirt, soy milk, no cream. My order. And this guy walks up and he's like, I just wanted a regular, regular. And she's like, well, I guess someone took your drink and I'm looking at my drink and I'm looking at them and I'm like, do please do not see me in my neon green raincoat. In my neon green. Please do not see me in my neon pink raincoat. Then they didn't, and he, the guy had to make another one. I stole someone's string. The other day I saw one of my friends walking to class, and as I drove by her, I honked my horn so that she could get in the car and I could take her. When she turned around, I had no idea who it was, and I was just someone rudely honking my horn at her. I kept driving. During one of the breaks in one of my classes, I decided I needed to go to the bathroom. So, I ran, okay, walked swiftly to the bathroom, so I was the first one. I get there and it's this really small bathroom, like, like a gas station bathroom. I lock the door and I go. Turns out, I clogged the toilet. So I'm flushing and it's just getting worse. I'm like, oh my god, what do I do? So, I got an idea. I'll play it off like I didn't do anything, like it wasn't me. Wash my hands, open the door. The entire class is standing outside waiting to use the restroom. And I know that when they go in there, there's a squirrel. <laughs> I know that when they go in there, there's gonna be a toilet full of poop. So I said the most reasonable thing I could say to the first person I saw. Oh my god, another person. Hold on. This is so awkward. So I said the most reasonable thing that I could to the next person in line. I went pee, I flushed a toilet, and other people's poop started to come out. He goes, well, and I go, what are we supposed to do? and there's a huge line of people are staring at us. I'm like, go tell the teacher. So I went and I told the teacher that someone else's poop was coming out of the toilet. She goes, what am I, what am I supposed to do about that? 
Can I go? I'll go sit down. I was talking to one of my acquaintances in class, and she told me how good I look. And I responded with, thank you. And she responded with, for what? I just told you how good that girl looked over there. And I just stared at her, so embarrassed that I accepted a compliment that was not meant for me. Two days ago, I sharded my pants. So we have this community fridge in one of my classes. And I go in there one day, and there's a corn dog. So excited, I love corn dogs. I warm it up, and I'm eating it. And my teacher comes out, looks at me, and goes, are you, are you eating my dinner? I look at her, I look at my corn dog, I look at the fridge, I look back at her, take it out of my mouth, and say, do you, do you want the rest?